Hi guys, hello on a video for you all, Hellsweeper VR. We'll call it an alpha, a demo, for a game that will be coming Q3 next year. So I know about as much as you do at this moment in time. We'll check it out, have a little look. Welcome to Hell. Before you do some sweeping, you've got to learn how to survive here. This tutorial will teach you all the basics. My master hand. Firstly, decide on your master hand. This is the hand that you'll use for most of the main actions like moving around. Well, I'm ambidextrous, useless with both my hands, but we'll just do the right hand. So stand, stand straight or sit still so we can play seated. That's always good to know. Press, press calibrate to set your height. I've done that. All right, room rotation, advanced setting. This is an advanced setting that allows you to quickly look around without physically turning around. For a truly immersive experience, we recommend switching this off. So, yeah, we'll leave that off. Or shall we? We'll have free rotate. Hold the thumbstick left and right to turn around. Might be useful. You can access the pause menu and return back to the hall by pressing the left menu button. Basic movement to survive in hell, be able to move is just as important as conjuring powerful spells and wielding your favorite weapons. If you are ever lost, you can summon a wisp to guide you in the direction of the objective. Summoning a wisp. First, hold down the grip and the trigger. Now swiftly swing your hand outward and a wisp will appear and show you the way. If there isn't any objective at the moment, the wisp will simply fade away. There we go. Dash or jump onto the thumb part. To perform a dash or jump forward, push the thumbstick forward and aim. The angle of the controller determines whether it's a dash or a jump. Release to confirm the movement or try it to proceed. All right, so that's teleport. All right, that. Three turns a little bit slow. We'll have to go into the options for that. Free locomotion and advanced setting. Yeah, we definitely want that. That'll be good enough. Movement practice. I played VR before. Right, so. Does the teleport still work? So I'll jump. So I'm just holding the grip button, pushing forward on the thumbstick. Moving around and conjuring any skill, weapon, or magic will consume mana. It is represented by the blue bar. It's in my vision all the time. It's quite distracting, actually. Just make that. Let's try that wisp again. Right, weapons, now that you know how to run, time to learn how to fight. Hold down the grip and swiftly swing down to summon a sword. Okay, my arm is stuck in the ground. That's quite cool, textures are nice. Let's try doing two at once. Yeah, they don't clash into each other, sadly, but pretty cool. Swing the sword at the enemy to practice. The harder you swing, the more damage you will deal. Weak swings will result in almost no damage. Oh, see ya. Nice. Next. Swiping a weapon with both hands deals more damage. To do this, move the empty hand towards the hilt. And press grip when you see the circular. There we go. Now dual wielding. Hold down the grip and swiftly swing upwards to summon a pistol. There we go. Try summoning the pistols. There we go. Press the trigger. Right, it's empty. We need a hand grip offset. 
let's I'm really pointing my wrist down to get down the sights. Maybe I don't have that in the options. Reload. Before reloading, make sure that you're holding one pistol with one hand. Using your free hand, hold down both the grip and trigger and swiftly swing downward to create bullets. Right. Bring the bullets closer to the pistol and you'll see an orange indicator. And it loads it. Note that guns can only be reloaded if it is not at max ammo. Break an enemy's guard when they are blocking, strike them forcefully with either the hilt or the sword or the pistol. Combat practice. Follow the waypoint to the next area and prepare for an actual combat. This time around, the enemies will charge at you. Headset starting to fog up. Typical. All right. Trying to look for the options to adjust the turn, right? Well, I know this is pretty cool. I really enjoyed Asgard's Wrath that came out a long time ago. This is, of course, done by the guys that did Sorrento. glowing red because it's had it or if it's their blood on the sword. We can expect some bugs as it's just the alpha. off. You survived. In hell, you will soon realize that it takes more than steel and lead to beat the supernatural. You'll be able to conjure different types of elements later on, but for now, let's just play with fire. Summoning a fireball. Hold down the grip and swiftly swing your hand outwards to conjure a fireball. That's cool. Throw the fireball at nearby enemies. Causes a burning effect. Activate bullet time. Bullet time slows down time for a few seconds, allowing you to perform epic moves or easily dodge enemy attacks. Press the X or A button to activate bullet time. Bullet time practice. Yeah, that's cool. Like the Matrix. One more time. Very cool. Nice work. You can try again or move on to learning how to use levitation. Basic levitation. Hell is littered with all sorts of things. Crates, bottles, rocks, broken limbs, decapitated heads, etc. You get the gist. Point your hand towards the objects around you. If an object glows, it means you can levitate it. Once you've found a suitable glowing object, press and hold grip for a short while to grab it and lift the object using telekinesis. Uh, using the force out of Star Wars. There we go. 
You can throw objects by swimming your arm and releasing grip. That's cool. Additionally, you can bring objects that glow yellow to your hand by clicking the thumbstick whilst using levitation. And click the thumbstick. Cool. You're almost ready. Well done. Please visit the tu tutorials for more in-depth explanation of the game mechanics as the onboarding tutorial only covers the tip of the iceberg. Combat practice. Follow the waypoints to the exit portal. Prepare yourself for the final combat practice. Powerful spells and abilities can see more mana, so plan your attacks carefully and use your mana wisely. Right. Goggles are really getting fogged up now. I'm basically blind. Right, there's a fireball. Right, burnt them both. Seven of ten. Must be the exit. Welcome to Hellsweeper's VR Alpha Demo. This demo features only a small fraction. Right, so I think we'll leave it there, guys. And come back, we can do another video once I've had a little bit more practice with it. It gives you an idea. You can head on over to Steam and request access uh, to try it out yourself. So we'll leave it there. Have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever you choose to do next. And yeah, as always, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.